So once you have your slideshow open and ready to go, what you're going to do is change the presentation mode. So you're going to go to slideshow, click that right here. Then you're going to click, um, let's see here, set up slideshow right here. Now it's usually put on presented by a speaker in full screen. What you want to do is select browsed by an individual window. And this will make it easier for you to navigate between the online resources that I've created for you, as well as um, the other links that you might need. So, or if you are going to be doing reading over the computer and under share the screen, or if you have another app that you might use. So this is why I used browsed by an individual window. I click OK. Now I'm going to go to presenter mode. On my computer, it looks like um, it says slideshow and it's little. I'm going to do that and look, voila, it's in its own separate window. Now, the very beginning is just share the screen. This is when I pump kids up and say, okay, are you ready to go? And I kind of let them direct what they want to do first. But what we ended up doing is not going in order that's on here. We ended up just starting with, um, we started with the reading assessment because I asked her what she wanted to do first. So we thought we would try out reading. So that's what we did. Um, we went to the next screen and then right here we've got the alphabet. So if you wanted to just go in order and click through, look at that. It even has the prompts for you to say, so that will help keep it consistent if you're working with a lot of team members. So if I click the capital letter A for the ABC, it's going to link you straight to my YouTube video on capital letters. When you press play, you are going to open up this video. Here it goes. And it's going to have children say the letter name. Now I have an assessment piece that I can use and that I share that shows you how I kept track of what they did. So here it is, it just shows up. That's why there's no uh, voice over, okay? And it has it in random letters. So Q, B, S and so forth. And I found that the timing seemed to work really well. If a student didn't know what um, what letter it was, it moved on quick enough, but it didn't take so long. So you're kind of giving each child the same opportunity to demonstrate their skills. And that way you're not giving one child more opportunity or a longer wait time than maybe another student. And so it keeps it pretty even among students. So unless of course it's in their IEP goal um, in which Place, you could just pause the video. So once I'm done with it, I just X out of that screen, go back to my presentation, which is still there. Then I click the lowercase. Now you could just keep my YouTube channel up and ready to go. And it does the same thing. It's going to start out. It's going to go straight to the lowercase letters. I kept it in the same order, just lowercase. The first time you play it through, they're going to say the letter name. The second time through, you could go back to the screen. You don't have to because it's the same exact video. This time they're going to say the letter sound. Now the reason why you don't want to do sound second is you're assessing whether or not they know the letter sound, not the letter name. So if they don't know what the letter name is, you can pause for a minute and say, what sound does the letter Q make? And then they can make the sound. Because to me, those are two separate skills. We're not assessing whether or not they know the letter name. We're assessing whether or not they know the letter sound. Okay, then you close that window and you can go to your next one. Okay, so your next one, you're just gonna click to the next screen, sight words. This one was great too, because again, it had, it was consistent and it is missing the sight word I. I did forget that one in there, but if they know their capital letter I, they know the word I. If they can't read it as a letter, they can't read it as a word. So I'm not going to go back and add that into my sight word list. If you click it, it opens up into a new window. Again, you press play and here we go. This one has a ready, set, go. Okay, to get you started. And I'm like, okay, are you ready? Cause this is a long one, set, learn. Then it takes you to the first word and they say it. Now what's great is you can just press play. You don't have to look at the screen the same way you would be in front of a student because I have my recording sheet next to it and I'm marking off what words they're saying correctly and I can show you my finished one. I actually took my score sheets and I took the PDF and imported it into a note-taking uh, note app 
on my iPad and just did it that way, take screenshots of it and send it to the family and it's done and import it into my report cards. So I was really happy at the way that that worked out. I do have nice soothing music in the background because that's something I do in my classroom. Um, I tried to keep it soft, piano-like music so that kids felt relaxed when they were taking it. Skip the beginning. Okay, this one's gonna give you a start light to get started, okay? So that you can get yourself ready. It's gonna say, ready, set, go. And if you don't know it, that's okay, but if you said, if you want a little bit more time, just let me know, okay? Does that sound good? You can just give me a thumbs up or um, a thumbs down if you're like skip or just say more time, okay? Which one do you want to do? Not sure? Okay, whichever one works for you, you just let me know some way, okay? All right, let's get started. says, ready, set, learn. Okay, here we go. So what word is that first one right there? A. Nice work. I knew you knew that one. Nice work. Okay, next one. You still knew some words from way back when. You knew the word A, to, love, go. Nice job. Virtual high five. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, there's a smile that I love to see. Nice work. I'm so proud of you. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And you know what? There was one word missing in here, but I know you know it because it's also a letter and it's the word I. So I know you know it because we also went back and we um, did your capital letters. Okay, so the next part is we're going to look at combinations of five. If you're looking for the recording sheet that I used for the Share the Screen assessment in this video, you can find it on my website at mycreativekingdom.com or on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, please continue to follow my YouTube channel and make sure that you uh, hit the like button so that I know that this video was helpful for you. And please make sure to subscribe below. So I look forward to talking to you soon and please let me know how it's going. All right, goodbye. Thank you.